It's a little unclear back there which team is out here right now. Uh, Enthusiastic about their whole community. I just want to say, you guys, you guys, I'm like, you should really take pride in the... yourselves and your team. I feel like you're not really doing that. I, I mean, I know we talk about how the teams don't mean a whole lot, or something, but you know, you I should, wish you had some sort of sense of identity or like a, a, a belonging feeling, but I don't think you do. Is that. it so much to ask for a little bit of enthusiasm for our audience? Team, you know? team, that shit, please. <laughs> Pouring gasoline on the gasoline that's on the fire. Yes. <laughs> the gasoline is to fuel the on-fire gasoline. <laughs> Gasoline's gasoline. Uh, good morning, students. Good morning. Here's the story. We've got a lot of announcements to get through. We're going to try and burn through as quick as possible and get to the show. You don't understand anything you say because it's a really fast. How about some talking very quickly? Ready to buy some micro machines now? <laughs> that was for my fellow Gen Xers. Yeah, did you explain that one? <laughs> it, starts, it starts with FedEx. Okay, just drop so it. people used to have to watch commercials when they watched their entertainment. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I've never had a TV. <laughs> Um, it has come, been brought to our attention that apparently some people have some games checked out of the game lending library that they have not returned on time. Oh. It a stiff penalty. <laughs> Kill hauling. Yes. <laughs> so please, if you have an overdue game from the library, please, when you can, uh, return that shit. Uh, a note, once again, a reminder, the specialty Indian lunch is happening on Wednesday at noon. You can call 88 on any ship phone or reserve directly with the main dining room maitre d'. Uh, if you have, if you intend to go to that, we ask you please make a reservation in advance rather than just show up on the day because they need to know how uh, many they need to prepare, roughly. Uh, so please, uh, and also we will say it's going to be fucking great. It's super delicious. It has been every year. It's like a full five-course meal, I believe. Um, so please get on that. I mean, or don't. But that's not an order. Uh, we have been uh, very... Uh, we continue to, to appreciate the ship's uh, increased cleaning procedures. Uh, those of you who were around the Lido during lunch or early dinner uh, were subject to... Again, I do not know if this is the technical term. The mandatory squeeze. No, what? <laughs> I think there's a meetup for that later on. Like, yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. drag name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Cell de Mer, the special uh, evening of dining. Ah, the Cell de Mer. Ah, the Cell de Mer. The sea from which the start comes. <laughs> We're ripping up here. Yeah, sure. Well, most of the uh, sea salt has PCBs in it. Ah, the PCBs that come from the ocean. <laughs> the pollutions that we have inside of ourselves. The microplastics we ingest. Or they all. Remember like, 10 seconds before we walked out here, we were oh, yeah, gonna get yeah, through yeah, these right. announcements faster. <laughs> So the Seldom Air Specialty Dining Event happening in the Pink uh, Grill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, has, it has sold out, and they have scheduled a second Seldom Air. Seldom Air! You know what to do! I'm calling the Seldom Air! Seldom Air, the Pop de Mer! Seldom Air, the Pop de Mer! Seldom Uh, the South America, the second one will be happening on Thursday, day six, the Pinnacle Grill. It is already 25% sold out, so if you are interested, do not dally. Uh, the ship store, upon fully realizing just how weird we all are, <laughs> have been stocking some pretty cool weird stuff strictly for our sailing, including a bunch of plush terry cloth bunkies, among yeah. other things. And for those of you who are making their last minute preparations for the dress party on day five, I've been told that they have items that are not quite caftans. 
and are in fact cover-ups? Are they quantum captans? <laughs> yes. I will tell you that the Terry Monkeys is my Beatles cover band. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, a couple of programming notes. On Wednesday uh, at 6.30, you like how I segued that by not having any segue whatsoever? Yeah, no, no, good. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> yeah. And another thing, uh, we uh, did not have a quorum uh, for the Not My Day Job performance. Several of our performers who were supposed to appear in the Not My Day Job event happening on Wednesday were amongst the performers who were unable to join us this year. Um, combining that fact with the overwhelming popularity of Jean Grey and Cindy McElroy's Journey to Model Land events, we have swapped that in its place, so Wednesday at 6.30, uh, in lieu of Not My Day Job, will now be a main stage reading of Tyra Banks's Not My Day. If you don't know what we're talking about, just trust us. Yeah. Come and listen and learn. Is this another Gen X thing? No, this is just some that shit Tyra Banks thing. Uh, the zombie shamble happening this evening, leading to the zombie promby. Just as a reminder how this is going to work, uh, you'll be gathering in the Lido pool area shortly before the prom, about 10 minutes beforehand. We will, uh, uh, DJ John Scalzi will be, maybe spin a remotely zombie appropriate tune. Those who are interested in taking part will slowly shamble down the, uh, the Lido market because I've always wanted to see this. This is why I program this event. Please though, make sure you only go down the port side of the Lido because the, the, the starboard side is for quiet hours. <laughs> I love the idea that it's still going to be quiet on the other yeah, side. Okay. Okay, quiet zombies and absolutely silent zombies may sham without the starboard side. Oh, this is the, this is the no smoking section and this is the smoking section here. There's no smoke over there. Just imagine the person like, oh god, I just need to get away from stimulation and noise. And here come 400 zombies. Quiet, sorry. So anyway, please sh we'll begin shambling down the port side of the Lido Market. You will get to the back sea deck. You can just turn around. You can go around the pool if you want. It's up to you. Your zombies have free will, and you can make your own choices. Please shamble back the side that you just came down. Also, because one of the things I want to see is two zombie shambles passing one another to see what happens. Zombies passing in the night. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Nice uh, and then you will wind up back at the Lido Mid Pool, and uh, John Scalzi will be uh, DJing the Zombie Prompty. Finally, regarding uh, Santo Domingo tomorrow, as the captain announced, we will be arriving at the port at 7 a.m. We do not know, we won't know until we get there, how quickly after that customs will allow us to disembark. We are told it could be a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, it could be a matter of an hour or so. Uh, but there will be announcements made over the loudspeaker once you are allowed to disembark. And now it's time for some slides! We went through a lot of this, any of you who were at the um, orientation, but as a reminder, tomorrow is our land concert event in Santo Domingo. It is happening at a plaza, roughly a 10 minute walk from uh, the door of the cruise port. Uh, Doors, so to speak, for the plaza. Public access will be allowed to the plaza itself starting at 4 p.m. There will be food stations and drink stations where you can purchase those things. Sales will be via tickets only. You will be able to buy tickets on site using either US Cash or Visa MasterCard. The tickets are in denominations of $2.50, $5 or $10. They are non-refundable. You'll be given change if needed by the booths in other tickets. So don't think you're going to make some sort of killing reselling these things. Uh, at 5 p.m. the concert begins. It will run until about 10.30. Uh, the ship itself departs at 1 a.m. At 12.30 a.m. everybody has to be back on board. Uh, so make sure you make it for that. Uh, as a reminder, this is our cartoon map. Uh, there will be people directing you uh, along the way. Cartoon people. Cartoon people directing you on the <laughs> cartoon map. That road that you cross when you exit the port is a very busy road. They are, for roughly the hour before the concert and roughly the hour afterwards, shutting that road down for us to get back and forth. During all other hours, they will have, let's call them crossing guards, there'll be a combination of local security and police, to aid people in getting across the road. 
It is not. It is a busy road. Uh, it's not like an eight lane highway, but it is definitely not a, a seldom traveled path. Uh, so please take care as you cross that road. Please do not frogger that road. Um, and that will be great. Now, let's have a little bit talk about the weather. Can you go back with that? I sure can go back. I just would like to say on the subject of the next slide that the translation of the port's name from French is <laughs> no apropos. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> a sans souci would be without words. Without, without words. Carefree. Yeah. Carefree. Carefree. Mm. Words, I see. Huh? Okay. But a sans souci. Away. What happened to my slides? I have not to Oh my, more slides! Fuck you! <laughs> well, actually, I don't think we need the slides at the moment. He plugs that back in. That one said weather. That one said weather. So, uh, the way it was working with our production company, we had to make a call on Sunday, three days out before they started setting things up uh, in in the plaza, as to whether or not to. Uh, put in a tent. All forecasts indicated that there is going to be some degree of rain tomorrow, so we made that call to have the tent put in for the audience. Wait for it. However, however, <laughs> this place is being, uh, uh, our event is being held on what is a uh, national monument. A 16th century dated national monument. And we have been informed today that try though they might, our production company has run into permitting issues. They have just oh had God. very lengthy phone calls with every level of government that they could. We are not going to have a tent. <laughs> but! <laughs> Bam! Bring it in! Sans souci and also sans tent. Sans tent. <laughs> First of all, when you arrive at the plaza at 4 p.m., they will be distributing free ponchos to everyone. Is in Spanish. <laughs> a plastic rain thing. Also, we have been keeping a very close eye on the weather forecast. You wouldn't believe the number of tabs I have open on Chrome. Uh, the all of the uh, forecasts are variations on that there will be rain in the morning, peaking sometime around 11 or noon or so, and slowly petering off. So we hit about 5 or 6 p.m., at which point there should be very little to no rain. Obviously, we will continue to keep a very close eye on this, and should, the, should things suddenly go awry, and, and we open up uh, weather.com tomorrow, and it says, whole lot of fucking thunderstorms all day, uh, we open it just the troll face. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it says, yeah, it says, remember San Juan? Yeah. Um, in any event, we'll keep a very close eye on the, on the weather forecast, and should the situation require it, we will make the call as needed to move the event here onto the ship to the extent we are able to, uh, and we will get messaging out to you as quickly and efficiently as possible. That said, again, looking at all the forecasts, as of right now, we have every ten intention and plan and expectation that the concert will happen on schedule and as we plan it to in the in the square just in not that place taste. just not into what it's going to be is going to be humid and you're all going to be sweating underneath your rain ponchos while it's not raining on you <laughs> i mean you should be so lucky yeah <laughs> uh so having experienced the awesome concerts that will also put you in the perfect mood to book on board for 2021 <laughs> Uh, onboard booking is now open. The forms for onboard booking will be delivered to your staterooms unless you have already booked for Joko Cruise. Yeah. In which case, thank you very much. Uh, those. Wait, I, was, I feel like the gold team was actually a lot louder about having booked already. So we just want to get on it. Drew, it's not a competition. <laughs> Don't stir the pot, Drew. Uh, you can you can turn in those forms. Uh, at the info desk at any time, there will be a drop box after hours if it is not uh, being stationed. Um, 
Uh, there will be no deck uh, onboard booking events as we've had in previous years. However, uh, there is an onboard booking table, I believe, at the back of the hall this evening. Yes, look for the uh, look for Jeff in the cow suit. There. Jeff in the cow suit back there. <laughs> He's got some onboard booking forms. Uh, and, uh, uh, please don't please don't uh, please don't crowd the onboard booking desk with. Uh, questions that will take a long time to answer. Onboard booking will be at the info desk throughout the week during its regular open hours. Um, the desk in the back is a great place to pick up a form, perhaps step out of the line, fill out the form, and, and hand it in, or wait to put it into the drop box at the info desk tonight for processing, or turn it in in person tomorrow if you do have questions. Thank you. Uh, when you book, or assuming you have booked for 2021, you will receive a lovely thank you card composed by Jonathan Colton himself. Or one of his many helpers. I mean, a printer printed it out. Yeah. Uh, you will also receive uh, an exclusive 2021 onboard booking pin that looks like that. It is not actual size. <laughs> if you booked, if you pre-booked Jonah Cruz, that would be an expensive goddamn pin. With about 900 clasps on it. And made out of cast iron. Uh, if you had, have previously booked before we got on Joko Cruise 2021, that should be delivered to your stateroom this evening. If you book on board, it will be delivered to your stateroom once your uh, booking has been processed, which hopefully will take no more than a day or so. Uh, let's see, what next? Uh, we only have balconies available because y'all bought all the rest of them. <laughs> or at least the whole team did. Turn shit. <laughs> uh, they, the form includes a simplified cabin grid and pricing on the form itself. Uh, the prices listed there are per cabin, not per person. Don't confuse those two because a person is not a cabin and vice versa. Uh, the discounts will also be reflected in these grids, the various discounts available to you. The previously uh, known as returning monkey discount has been divided into the mono monkey and multi monkey discount. <laughs> Meaning if you have attended one previous Joko cruise, this one, if you're listening to me talk right now, you'll receive a discount of $50 per birth. If you've been to two or more Joko cruises, you'll get $125. If you are here and you have been on zero Joko cruises, we'd like to see you after the show. <laughs> but you probably can't. Uh, also, the pay in full discount pricing will be reflected in the grid as well. If you choose to pay in full at the time of booking, it is not required, but it is an option. You will receive a 4% discount off of that booking. Finally, the toddler or, and child discounts that are available, if your toddler or child uh, and the break, the cutoffs for each, I believe, is three years old and 12 years old. Uh, uh, if they are the third or fourth person in your booking, you will receive a $400 or $250 discount. Those uh, discounts will be applied uh, afterwards, after we return from Joko Cruise. They won't be applied at the time of booking, but they will be credited to your account. Um, so don't yell at us about that. And thus ends, uh, no, excuse me, that's almost ends morning announcements, except for Coach Cruise, who has a very important announcement. If you heard about this from someone from some earlier team, uh, no spoilers. I'm going to put on my Minister of Finance hat to make this announcement. It's going to be a bit dry, but I think you will appreciate it. This is from ourselves in Holland America Line. Thank you again for being here. It feels great to be together on this fantastic ship, celebrating, enjoying all the things we love, and washing our hands with elevated frequency. You may applaud. You know what else feels great? Having a, a $50 stateroom credit up to $100 per cabin, courtesy of Joko Cruise and Holland America Line to say thank you for rolling with the heightened security procedures and other changes in policy designed to keep us all healthy and happy. We're working out uh, exactly when this credit will appear and exactly how it will be distributed uh, for cabins that have more than two occupants, but it is coming within the next day or two. Uh, it will just be for the first two guests in the cabin. Splitting it another way is uh, hor a horror for night audit, apparently. So those with more than two in your cabin, you can work it out. Fight! <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. And finally, uh, please note that these credits cannot be withdrawn as cash or at the casino. Thank you. You know what they're good for, though? Wang Wangs! And Terry Monk 
things to say. Uh, and then that uh, ends morning announcements. Are you ready for a variety show, everybody? All right, let's go ahead and get things in place for our first act. Uh, this is an event that we started a number of years ago. Uh, it is called Worst First Pain. Turns out that uh, everyone's submissions from the first show were pretty long, so it is going to be in the other guys that we usually do when we do this uh, as part of San Francisco Sketchfest, Worst First Chapter. For those of you unfamiliar with this, it's pretty easy. We ask some people to write an intentionally terrible first chapter to a bad book that does not actually exist. Fair enough. Wow. Silence. They just get it. They're like, I don't know. They're into it. They're just in anticipation. Well, let's get right to it. Please welcome our first author, Mike Kaplan. 